Hello, Craft Lively Crafters. Thanks for joining us here on our YouTube channel where we are hoping to be able to bring you some how-to videos and um, some instructions for when you purchase a, um, a make and take kit kits from us or just sort of some informational tutorials. We are going to start today with our make and take, or take and make rather, kit of the, um, the fabric painted pillowcases. So I am going to walk you through the steps. If you have received a kit in the mail, you have printed out instructions, but sometimes it's good to see these things done on a video. So this is the other option for you. So um, we will get started. Okay. Well, first of all, I apologize. We have a little bit of a lighting situation. It's not the best lighting. But if you've received your take and make pillowcase kit, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. You're going to get, you're going to receive the pillowcase. It will be folded up in order to fit in the box and it will be taped up. On occasion, some of the paper that you're going to be using as a stencil can pull up um, in transit. It's a super easy fix. Pull out your iron and just hit it with the iron for like a couple seconds and it will re-adhere this paper. Um, so when you get, first get this, I would recommend that you carefully remove the painter's tape and unfold your project. Don't take the painter's tape off of the section here because what this is here to do is protect the outer edges from any kind of paint overspill. So, um, okay, so if your pillowcase looks okay, then you're going to want to gather your paints together. Now, depending on the particular um, style of pillowcase that you've ordered, your take and make kit will come with different tubes and colors of paint. We are working on a unicorn one, so the unicorn one includes um, a rainbow paint palette because one of the options we want you to be able to do, and then I'm going to show you today, is how to turn the unicorn into sort of a rainbow looking ombre, if you will. So you will have containers of paint and you will have a bunch of these makeup sponges. These are perfect for painting. Um, because you can really control how much you put on there and they're good for stencils because the number one thing to remember whether you are painting a wood sign or you were painting a pillowcase is not to over overdo it with the paint. You just got to go with with um, a little bit of pound paint to start and layers. So um, when painting this pillowcase you're going to take your, here, I'll show you my paint palette here, uh, you will decide what colors you want to do each thing. I'm, as I said, I'm going to show you a, a rainbow unicorn, but I'm going to keep the letters pretty simple. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do, you know, like every girl's dream, the pink on the believe. You, this is really all you need, okay? Like, like I normally tell kids to take a dab and then dab it off. And when you do that then, you're just going to go ahead and dab it on. You want to cover it, but you really, really want to try to control how much paint is going on there. You're better off going with more layers, but not as much paint in, in each layer because if, it, if you have too much paint, it's so easy for it to bleed. There we go. I think we pretty much have that all covered. Move on to the next color. I'm going to use a different sponge for each color. I think I'm going to do, you know, my daughter just loves purple, as most girls do. So I'm going to go ahead and do this in purple. Now if you are going to do your unicorn in a single color, you can just skip the rest of this video because honestly you now know how to... How to stencil in a single color. If you want to do the unicorn, I'm going to show you how to do that here. So that's what our next step is going to be. There we go. And that one's all set. And I think I'm going to go with this color on the in-between. This coral. Alright, so our words are good to go. 
Now I'm going to work from um, pink at the, is going to be at the bottom and purple is going to be at the top. So basically you want to start, I'm going to start at the bottom with the pink since we've already got that one going. And I am going to make a line across the bottom of the unicorn and anything under that line is going to be pink. Okay, so we've got ourselves our line here. Down here will be pink. Here will be pink. All right, up next is that coral colored orange. We're just going across the rainbow here. And again, I'm gonna try to keep it to be pretty even all the way across. You can just gauge this. This is me guessing at, you know, how much room I need here. And I'm gonna go right up to the pink line, and then I'm gonna show you the trick to blending it. Which isn't really much of a trick other than just you wanna start, once you know you're done with the orange, you just wanna start going over the pink, because it's gonna start to mix pink onto your sponge. So you just wanna, and you can then take your pink sponge and really go over that to blend it even a little bit more. And then you start to get that really cool blended look. You can try mixing them in your paint palette too. And if you happen to get like a little too much orange down here like I did, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more pink back down in that little section and cover up that orange. Okay, moving on. We've got yellow next. And that's going to go up to about here. This is a nice bright yellow too. Again, not going to overdo it with the paint. Kind of like I said, you know, the biggest tip here is to just go with a little paint and just come back to it frequently if you need to. It's like um, Bob Ross over here. All right, and again, we're going to go ahead and blend using your yellow, now that you know you're all the way done with the yellow there. Through it again. There you go. It's like looking pretty good and blended there. All right. Let's move on to the green. We have green, blue, and purple left to do. So make sure that I leave enough room for all of those. that in with the yellow kind of getting that lemon lime effect You don't need a lot of paint for this either. I mean, we probably even sent you more than you need for these kits, so don't feel like you need to use it all. Save it for your next fabric project. So I just did that on the wrong one. If you need more of these sponges, you can get these guys. I mean, these are just makeup sponges, so you can get them at any one of those stores near you. All right, last up is our purple. Going 
all the way up the unicorn horn for this one. You just need to be careful in this particular spot that you don't come into the letters here. But all right, this is looking really cool. It's like super blended. Um, I think we are pretty ready for the fun part, which is the peeling of the stencil. So also these, all these paint colors are so cool. Okay, now you, and I see a little spot down here where I missed a little pink. You can let this dry and wait until it's totally dry to peel it, but if you're careful, you also can just peel it when it's wet, as long as you are careful about not getting the paint around the sides. You can actually see over here I got a little green dot um, and on the ones that we send out, the kits, we really are going to try to make sure that um, all of those surfaces are covered and so there's very very little chance um, of you having like the over over paint but just for me for tonight I just left it like this. Okay, so legitimately all you want to do here is carefully Peel up the stencil. It is. It should come off nice and easily. And the letters, you know, you're going to have to go back in and grab the little inserts. But let me do this first. For the insides, I'm just going to take a little exacto knife. You can use your fingernail if the paint is dry, um, but if it's not, you just want to be careful because it could end up spreading it. But at this point, you should be seeing this like super cool, beautiful design on your pillowcase. Almost done. Okay, okay. Um, now we want to let this dry. And when it is all the way dry, we will go ahead and remove the paper that is inside the pillowcase that's sort of protecting the back side and we'll put a pillow insert into it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and then um, we'll rejoin the video and I'll show you the finished product. All right, and here's our finished pillow. Looks pretty good, huh? Once the paint's all dry, you can put the pillow insert inside. Um, the Take and Make kits do not come with an insert, but they are so easy to find at any Joann's, uh, Michael's. They can be ordered from Amazon. Um, but if you go to Joann's or Michael's, my mom would kill me if I didn't tell you to use a coupon. So anyway, I hope that your pillow turns out um, as nice as this one. I think my daughter's going to love this one. Um, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to craftlively at gmail.com. And we hope to hear from you very soon.